The purpose of this video is to show you how to get more pictures that might not be in the gallery and add them to your um, smart notebook in order to have more pictures for your animation. So here's a gallery. I've already showed you how to go in and search for something, but let's say there's nothing there. What you want to do is you need to have two windows open. Before you open the internet window, you do want to click this little camera right here. That's going to let you take pictures from another part of the computer and add it to your smart file. You guys have seen me do that in class all the time. So let's say I'm on the internet and I want to find a picture of a seashell. I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in seashell, seashells, and you can see when I search for that on the side it says everything images maps. Let's do images. So I'm going to click that and look at all these pictures that come up. So let's say I want um, seashells all across the bottom of my page. I'm going to click this and whoa look at those seashells. So I want to take a picture of it. These are your choices that you're going to do. You can take a full screen, a screen of just the writing part, or like a weird shape like a circle. I like to do the square because I think that's relatively easy. So when I click it you'll see I've got these like little, it looks like a cross. I'm going to line it up with the dot right in the corner and I've got to get the, the side of the cross over to the side. I'm clicking, I'm dragging along the picture that I want and then you get it exactly where you want it. I'm going to try and not have any white on there, just the seashells. Oh, and I don't want that X, so I'm going to move over this way some. Then I let go. It'll say Saving Ink Notes. And if you go back to your Smartboard file, it's there. Now, if you look, it puts it on a new page, but it's really easy to get it back to where you want it. All you have to do is cut. I right, I, I left-clicked, cut it. Now I'm going to go to this slide, and I want to right-click, paste. Once it's on here, you can get the crosshairs and change the size of the picture. So let's say I have all my shells down at the bottom of my picture. This looks pretty cool. I can also lock it into place if I don't want that to move or I can leave it so that it can be moved. You can also rotate. You can also make it transparent. So if I right click on the, the picture and I go to properties, you can see right here object transparency. So if you click it, the shells become more part of the background than standing out in the front. And that's totally up to you. So here's how you get a picture off the internet.